everyone, this is Karen Hooley, and I am doing just a quick little video here about how to read a chart for a corner to corner block. Um, you can use this technique even if you are doing a blanket or any other sort of project, but I just created this little block to show you how it works. Now, I am right-handed, so I developed this chart for a right-handed person, and I'll explain that in just a second, but if you're left-handed, you would just start in the opposite corner. So with the right-handed crocheter, you're gonna start in the bottom right-hand corner. You're always gonna read the charts from the bottom to the top. But the difference with this chart is instead of going across this way, you because you are making blocks on the on the angle here you're going to make your first block and then here is row two row two is this and this and then row three because you're flipping the the block is one two three and here is row four one two three four see how four ends in the blank box it's the same thing here this is one and then two two ends in the blank box one, two, three, three ends in blank box. One, two, three, four ends in the black, blank box. One, two, three, four, five. So you see how I'm going up at an angle? If you're left-handed, you would start here and this would be one. And then, then number two would be here. And this is two and then three because you're working in the opposite direction of what I'm showing you here. Now, um, as you work, one of the things that I think would be really easy, uh, really great to do if you're, especially if you're doing a small block like this, um, is to highlight the blocks as you work along so that you know where you're at if you have to stop or sometimes it's just visually trying to figure out this chart. Um, you know, you could start here at five, but sometimes you might think that you have to drop one or something. It can be visually challenging. So by just, when you do the first block, just kind of use a highlighter and fill it in. Make, if you were doing multiple blocks of the same thing, just make photocopies of it. And then each, each time you work a block, just highlight the square so you know where you're at in the chart. And then in here, obviously, so like here with row 10, We'd start here, One, there's two white blocks, and then there's a pink, a pink, a pink, a pink, a pink, and then we go white, white, white. And same thing with 11, same with nine. I believe row eight is the first, first row that we actually get the pink blocks in. So that is how you read the chart. And of course, um, this is row 11. So row 11 is the last increasing corner or increasing row, I should say. And then t starting with row 12, you're starting to decrease. And then row 21, which I did not label, is just the last block. So the first row and the last row are not numbered. So that should be it for reading this chart. And I hope that helps with uh, understanding how the charts are read. We'll talk more in another, either another video or in another blog post about how to actually crochet up this chart. Have a great day. See you soon.